Good afternoon, family. Thank you for coming by, sharing your time with me today, which is Saturday. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia, doing our darn thing. It's cold out there, Lord. It's cold out there, y'all. It's cold. We we had a uh, a few um we call it snow flurries around here, but in the northern part of Georgia by the mountains they got some real snow. It, I was kind of jealous because a lot of people were posting their pictures on social media, and it just took me back to Christmas time and the snow that we get up here sometime. Uh, and it's just amazing. Ooh, I would love to go to Denver, Colorado one day before I leave this plane of existence. Hopefully, I'll do that on my honeymoon. Who knows, honey? Ooh, the Lord hasn't sent them yet, but when he do, that is going to be my honeymoon destination, okay? So, I hope he liked cold weather. But anyway, y'all, we gonna come on in this house because we are parlaying over here. We relaxing. We doing the darn thing. And I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you for being my family, okay? And you know my family is very mixed, honey. We come from different cultures. We come from different races. But we just like hanging out with one another and talking shit. Okay, that's all we do over here, okay? And we love on each other and we pray for each other as well, okay? At least I'm hoping y'all pray for me because I do pray for you all in the most prosperous, generous, loving, comforting way, okay? Because you we might not agree, you know what I'm saying? But we do respect each other and my platform because I insist on it, okay? But anyway, before we go on and get into this story, yes, popular superstar. Star, uh, dot com brought it out, titled it as Real Housewives of Atlanta Nene Leaks confirmed Bravo fired her and hired super lawyer Lisa Bloom. Okay, she's a civil rights lawyer that fight against big corporations and stuff when they're uh, discriminating against a certain party, whether it be, you know, lesbians, gays, um, discrimination hate crimes and stuff like that but it's mostly geared towards women okay so like i said she's a civil rights lawyer activist out there doing her thing advocating to keep the woman voice alive whether you know it's diverse you know what i'm saying it don't have to be specifically a black woman it don't have to be specifically an aged woman white woman you see where i'm going with it just women and uh getting exposed or uh, definitely uh, getting put in a bad light because a man wants to say this, that, and the third that we got look like we got casting couches over here. You got to do this before you can get that. Now that's bullshit. So Lisa's claim to fame is an uh, advocate for women, all right, and empowering women to get what they deserve, especially when they don't work hard. Uh, to perform a particular job task and they do it brilliant, brilliantly and uh, expeditiously and you know they're taking care of business and it seems like in Nini's case she has uh, acquired allegedly Lisa Bloom to get into Bravo and uh, into true entertainments behind about you know seem like they're phasing her out of the show of which she helped create and become a million if not billion dollar organization when it comes to the Atlanta Housewives franchise okay but before we get on into that we're gonna have to dismiss some folks but that story let me go back that story came from one of my sisters her name is Mariah your what do you call it your Israel or Yezreel, Mariah Yezreel. I'm sorry, baby, if I'm pronouncing your name, but you know who uh, I am. You know who I am. I know who you are. We got love and kisses and hugs for one another. So please forgive me, Mariah, if I mispronounced your name. But yeah, that's my family. That's my sister, honey. She told me, she put in my links down on a, uh, a particular video. I was uh, having you all out there to partake of because, you know, I do it for y'all. Y'all do it for me. We work hand in hand together. You tell me what y'all thought about what I put out there. Not particularly me, but the subject matter. Y'all get down in them comments and y'all talk about it. Okay. Y'all been doing a wonderful do job. Y'all been acting like family. You know, when you come over to people's houses, they invite you. You don't go and tear folks' houses up and start fights here and there. And see, we got two people. 
people that seem to like to do that. So since they're going to come on my platform, be in our, meaning our family, you and I chat and can't seem to get along with each other. Okay. And they seem to want to throw the hate at me. See, it's, it's my house and I live here. Okay. I invite my family or and uh over to congregate with me and we talk peacefully you know we agree to disagree however you see it but these two young people call themselves my family hell maybe they didn't they were just sitting out there like strangers and want to come and implement and tear up shit i don't know but we must say goodbye to them y'all we got to say bye bye okay you're not welcome here anymore okay and their names are val williams I don't know if you really seen her up there in the comments trying to tell me uh, that I'm a hater and this, that, and the third just because I'm expressing my opinions and stuff like that. No, nah, we all are haters because then that would be a hater that you're hating towards me coming in on my platform telling me I'm a hater about who I'm talking about. So we're going to have to dismiss Val, say goodbye to her, Val Williams, because if she tries to respond, we're just going to continuously block whatever. If you go on a troll name, I'm going to kind of recognize it. Really don't know if you is you or whatnot but we're gonna just block going forward if you put a negative comment in there towards somebody in the chat or you address it towards me you gotta go okay we, we can't have it. it's too much uh badness in the world as it is you know people saying sly shit you know that probably wouldn't say it to me if they saw me on the street you know what i'm saying and we got another one named uh dollar let me see what is it called? Well, let me spell it. D-I-A-M-O-L-Y-N. Mobile Notary. Diamondland Mobile no Notary. We must say goodbye to you, too. Because you up in the house trying to tell shit. Trying to tell me shit. Probably get it. If I let you tell me shit. And let you keep continue to get on away with it or whatever. And then you might start talking to the other family members at the side of your neck. I mean, I don't know if you're coming in here drunk. You and Val or whatever. Or anybody else that want to come over here acting and talking out the side of their neck. Well, guess what? This is a new year. This is a new day. This is a new dawn. Okay, and since you seem like you don't want to be here anyway, we're just going to kick you out the door. So security knows, as well as my other family members that are writers that don't give a shit, they gon you they going to get and serve and protect yeah they ride for me too so don't even do it if you come like i say on the troll names you just instantly get blocked we over here loving on each other we over here dialoguing and of course we're not gonna agree you have my team twirls they're welcome you have uh people against team twirl they're welcome you have the people that want to straddle the fence. They don't know which way to go. They so damn confused. They like both sides, but they just can't seem to make up their, their minds. They over here in the camp. And, of course, they got people like me. Everybody can get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody can get it. It doesn't matter. So, see, we are broken up, but yet we're unified. We talk about the subject matter, and that's where we hold it. We don't go and talk about somebody else that we don't really know. Hell, we don't even know the people we're talking about. But they're celebrities. They're out there acting crazy. And since we go and watch them, we got to talk. We got to talk because it's going to happen regardless. If you come over to my channel, you go over to somebody else's YouTube channel, or hell, you're just sitting at home in your personal home talking to your good, good girlfriends and my Lonnie B voice, or you're just talking with your family members. And one family member might bring up, did y'all hear about so and so? What do y'all think about that? This, that, and the third. And it goes off like that. So, are you calling everybody haters? The two people I had to get rid of? You calling yourselves haters when you have that private moment when you're talking to your friends or your family members about celebrities out here? Do you Would you call your own self a hater? Well, guess what? We don't want the haterade juice over here. Okay? So, we're going to say goodbye. See you later. Don't let the donut hit you. Where that good law should have split you. Okay? I'm just saying. So, wish you well, but you can't be over here anymore. You've been blocked. All right. Let's get on to this uh, title. Okay? Let's get on in here, Sam. Let's go on because we taking care of business. Yes. Taking care of business. All right now okay but let's go on and give credit to monica miller yes she's a com uh com com wait, com commentary wait a minute, so i'm getting my words confused columnless journalists over there 
or commentary person or spokesperson or correspondent, however you want to use it. She's writing an article, okay? And she's employed by popular superstars. Yes, she is going out there doing it on thing. And again, her name is Monica Miller. She wrote this on yesterday, matter of fact. And again, thank you, my sister, uh, Maria. You sure real? Okay, you sure real? Okay, <coughs> but we just going to say my sweet and loving Maria. Okay, um, she titles her article, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta Nene Leaks confirms Bravo fired her. Hire super lawyer Lisa Bloom. Okay, let's get on into seeing what she's saying about this so we can make our sidebars. Oh, it says Nene Leaks time on the Bravo show Real Housewives of Atlanta seems to be running thin. Hmm. Because rumors are that she recently got fired from the show and she's gearing up with high-powered attorney Lisa Bloom. Now, of course, we at one point, because I know I did a story on it, trying to figure out who Nene was trying to uh, take the court. And that's Miss Lisa Bloom, supposed to be uh, Nene's representation, her uh, attorney, to represent her in whatever case she's trying to bring out. But from what this article, Popular Superstars, is telling us, dot com, whether you believe it or not, it's all allegedly, but this is the story they bring it to us at our front doors but over into the house and we're talking about it okay but um yeah it's basically saying nene has hired her for representation because she's seeking to uh do some litigation against true entertainment bravo franchise and probably andy cohen <laughs> Because she feels like they are trying to oust her out of a show she helped build. <clears throat> now, of course, we know Nene been out there saying it's her shit. It's her show. She the queen bee and all this other stuff. Just hyping herself up. She got the big head somewhere down the road of the uh, show growing. Because as you can see, these are the original cast members. It was Nene. It was Lisa Wu. It was Deshaun Snow. It was Sheree. And it was Kim Zosier. Now, one person that I can say has definitely done her darn thing. She used uh, Bravo as much as she could. Did what she could to bring good stories and she got the hell on she said look at here look at here i'm glad and um uh, pretty much okay with what bravo did for me but look why don't we just cut this side deal y'all gonna have y'all show hire some more ladies but give me my own spinoff and i'm sure i'll keep you entertained you know sidebar they made it happen and she's been flourishing ever since you hear me she has been flourishing ever since and that's one smart ass lady okay because she took the Real Housewives of Atlanta platform, did what she did, make it do what it do, and then she got on to her own personal show where they're paying her and her name is being showcased. Okay, even though it's still under the Bravo True Entertainment umbrella but she got her own show they just been giving the other ladies spinoffs you know can and her ski trip can and her wedding nene and her wedding um let me see I think uh, Cynthia had one with her and uh, Peter were getting married. A little side show for her. And uh, they had Portia. I don't know what happened to Portia's. Well, I think she did have a spinoff by her baby or something being born. But, it, you know, Kenny was supposed to have one too. But I don't know whatever happened and transpired with that one. But, you know, it's just like they got spinoffs, but they didn't get their own show. So, to me, Kim Zosiak is the true MVP. All right. I'm just saying, people may not agree with me. My family might not agree with me. But that's that's how we are. We have different opinions. We have different perspectives. And we listen to each other, whether we agree or not. That's not the, that's not the issue. It's just that we're... Um, speaking we're using our voice to say what we feel about the same subject everybody is talking about okay so that's what my sidebar came out to be but going back to this article uh i just want to have another sidebar you know i do that here and there i understand what nene is doing she's already making a million plus they saying two million uh and some change or whatnot but if she was just making a million that's a lot of money uh, per, per season that's a lot of money if you're doing what you need to do with it you know you're being frugal in some ways you're making more investments in this this that and third because i would rather make some strong ass investments make my money work for me versus me calling i'm getting all these boutiques and, and, and stuff of that nature because you rely on the consumer to come into your shop because they know who you are and they know you make quality goods great goods for them to partake of of a more reasonable type pricing 
uh, pricing point versus, you know, any of your competitors. But, you know, Nene just called herself sitting out there looking like she little Miss Louis Vuitton or Mrs. Uh, Michael Kors. Okay. Uh, I like, what is Nene doing out there? Because she going to mess around, sell herself too short, going to litigate against Bravo, allegedly, True Entertainment, and she's going to be blackballed. You think Monique is out there trying to work and she's working in these Jew joint clubs and not doing the big things like she used to do because she ride off too much at Tyler Perry and Oprah Renfrey and anybody else she could talk about when she went through or she's still going through the Netflix type issue. Nina, you're going up a, a very dark path, especially when you don't did some dark shit yourself to help grow this franchise of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now you're talking about you may be thinking about doing litigation against them. Who gonna want to work with you, baby, in Hollywood or even any special projects? Uh, because you already had this thing that you're a true diva, and that ain't nothing for the positive they were talking negative diva okay so i don't know that you like did you let the the bright lights and and and, and gl glitter of gold you know taint tarnish you in some way because you know you always used to get mad at cam zoziac and look what she got she still got tardy don't be tardy for the party and hell candy needs to be slapped in her face too because candy wrote that little diddly for her she not only wrote the song, Don't Be Tardy for the Party, but helped her try to choreograph her steps and try to make it a mainstream song. And it was um, really pretty hot in the gay clubs and of that nature. And the gays started loving Kim and all of that. And, you know, instead of them working together in the future and be uh, good friends, Kim and uh, Candy, they end up separating because Ken, uh, Kim didn't want to pay up the royalties to her. But Candy didn't do her uh, due diligence and put Kim on a, a contract. I don't care if your friends, your family, true blood family or whatever, put their asses on the contract. So business is business. Friendship is friendship, family is family. Those are three different compartments. But one thing that really sticks out and that's going to work in any type of court of law is when you have a contract. You have set rules that you're supposed to perform and the other person has set rules they're supposed to perform. So it makes it very cohesive and everybody gets what they want out of it. But see, Candy, she didn't know. She was still wet behind the ears and she was still trying to do or uh, wear that hat as a performer yet business person and producer and writer and somehow she got lost in the sauce but now i'm sure she's very strong for it she learns from her mistakes and that's what experience is all about is when you learn from a difficult situation you were in you forge ahead and you don't make those same mistakes anymore and if any if you have any love in your heart you would tell other people that's trying to come up cup come up under you and learn the uh <coughs> the business side of entertainment you should tell them to get everything signed in a contract don't lean on verbalness and friendships and family members and loyalty and all that no it's a business you're trying to make money they're trying to make money so do it right so like i said i don't think candy will make those same mistakes again uh but uh she did learn something very lucrative about that and how you can lose uh some serious money when something blows up and yet you had no uh legality that tied you to the uh prosperous side of that blow up when she made that song for kim zoziak okay but um going back to the article it says uh, there's been a lot of drama involving any leaks on the show, but that has or that was mostly part of her charm. Uh, and she kept bringing a lot of feuds into our lives, but she had been having issues with the producers for a while. So it's like I said, it was more so Nene and my way of looking at it, my perspectives from watching her on the show. She was acting like she could do this thing by herself. She didn't need no cast with her. <laughs> In fact, she wanted her own show never know why it didn't transpire but it just is what it is when you making that kind of money and she you know was saying she's a rich bitch and she cashed trump checks and mm -hmm. she is the queen bee of real housewives of atlanta why would you be you know worried about anything if you're so solidified in your stance that you are the shit you shouldn't be worried about what barbara doing you shouldn't be trying to um make us the consumer of the product um you know, you basically shouldn't be worried about it at all. And um, you are. And 
you're giving us allegedly giving us the viewpoints that you want to do litigation against bravo because they're not treating you right they're letting other people do what they need to do to progress on the show but they're doing half of the dirty work so i guess you're seeming like if you're doing all the dirty work you should be the highest paid and you definitely should be getting more scenes in each episode that's being sponsored uh for every season but that's not so but like i said you know if phaedra had to go they got tired of her uh mm -hmm. stuff and her infractions she made she had to go they didn't like kim from what uh i'm hearing on the street because she didn't bring the drama she was um like folding up when people were coming for her because her and kenya Moore definitely mm -hmm. were having odds with one another and kenya was you know telling lies or what she had heard about her husband being gay you know that's not something you bring out you know uh to somebody who definitely don't feel that her husband is gay you know it, that that was just tacky 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 and it, you, you just shouldn't have done it pretty much can you but uh my question is you know will we miss greg and nene i know i would i sure would i'm sorry that she took matters in her own hands with that cameraman and it pretty much showed on tv but nene shouldn't have even really got that you know unless she was having some uh illegal substances back there or whatnot then if it was filmed it was just filmed you know and if i really didn't like it, i would have protested and said y'all know my closet was messed up you know i don't want nobody to see that i have a junkie closet this that and third you know she just sort of went that way spoke to the big people when they came to editing what they were going to show and just you know plead with them you know you didn't have a chance to really clean up the side that you wanted to be seen or didn't want to be seen and then the ladies going in there even though you told them not to go in there but you were kind of jokingly about it you weren't like real stern and said no please don't go in my closet you know you were just all i don't know what was going on with you that um day nene because you called yourself breaking down in, in the cameras and saying you needed your sisters meaning your co-workers to rally behind you because you were just going through so so much with Greg's cancel but you know in hindsight you don't know how many other people are going through that same stuff nene but they don't have a platform to show the ordeals that they go through with uh taking care of their loved ones who are diagnosed with uh cancer and going through the treatments and this that and third because you know i'm sure they would have you know some stories to tell too but yet they don't go and try to snatch up people uh bogart them in the conus and uh smack out their teeth <laughs> they don't do that nene so i can see why that infraction is being held over your head too um but um like i said i don't know if i really would have took it that avenue unless i was through with hollywood uh entirely i mean i was through it with the entertainment business what it brought uh that was popular what it brought that was negative i would not be doing any of that if i didn't uh if i saw myself just still trying to stay in the business now if i didn't want to be a part of the entertainment world anymore uh i didn't like the lack you know it was just lackluster to me i'm getting older i'm seeing things from a new set of lenses uh i want a little bit more than the ratchety or ratchet side that Bravo franchises uh saying we have to bring the drama unnecessarily to our co-workers that w that's what they paid us for you know if you get sick of that then okay yes because you know you know you know you ain't gonna work in hollywood no more you're not gonna work for any network especially when they know what you did if you choose to do it this way and you win uh your litigation that you're seeking against uh bravo true entertainment allegedly uh, they ain't gonna work with you because they gonna like okay if you if you don't get what you want how you want it then you're gonna try to you know seek litigation against them too and you know they ain't got time for all that nene they'll just uh, work on somebody else building them up to replace you and i think that's what they're doing with kenya but my thing with the rest of these housewives meaning kenya candy cynthia um marlo tanya and anybody else that may come along portia if they do it to Nene, what you think they're going to do to you at the end if you try to follow those same paths, those footsteps Nene was taking to get to that last ending where she was bringing so much drama to the show and people were questioning why they can't see more of, you know, you or this, that, and the third. What you think going to happen? Because it's a set, set of numbers that they're going to give 
a certain actress, actor, or reality star uh, for them to perform a certain act for them. For Nene, it's entertainment and the righteousness of reality TV show. The people have... Meaning the producers, the executive producers, the uh, network itself, the elites. They are only going to give a certain amount of money. And they don't want you to get so far up to that certain point. Because then there's no way for you to go. Because that means you're stepping in their their uh, money range. You're stepping in what keeps them afloat. So they don't have to either work. Or they don't have to even come to any type of do, you know doing anything ratchet themselves. To keep them afloat in the luxury that they like. So you see, so you stepping over on their territory, and that's just something you know. Even the drug cartel don't like happening. Okay, you stay in your line, you stay over there, and you make it do what it do. But don't come over here in this filthy rich section because we don't want you here. So I think every um, what do you call it? Career, every motion picture, every producer, they have a certain cap that they're gonna play that they're gonna pay out for a certain person to. And act whatever they want to have done. That's just the bottom line. Okay. And I think Nene is very close to that. If not on that mark. And they're like no. We, we, you know we're not going to go give you no more money. You know what I'm saying. It just is what it is. And Nene been on the show for 12 years already. <coughs> I mean what more are you going to be able to give. You know even though she always say. I don't know if I'm going to come back. I don't know if I want to do this. No you're trying to see if they're going to pay you more money. And then you have to decide. And can I live on this? I mean, Nene, you went too far too fast in the first place. Did you really need a mansion the way you got that mansion sitting up there? Did you really need all of that? And is it paid for? And can and if it is paid for, can you pay the taxes on it each year? Can you keep up the grounds? You know, I'm just speculating, you know, because it's a lot of landscaping is enough to drive a person crazy. Not necessarily thinking about the upkeep. Have you solidified yourself where you have enough wealth put aside in case you had to leave the entertainment field? Could you be able to live off the residuals of um, things that you've invested in? You know what I'm saying? Is it coming back to you full fold and with interest? See, that's what I'm talking about, Nene. That's when you go and hire a financial person and they invest your money for you and not, you know, spend it like you playing craps at a um, Las Vegas strip club or something to that effect. But that's what I think is happening to Nene. She's seeing uh, her filming time getting less and less, getting lesser and lesser. And it is something going out there with other housewives of a different state are going through the same thing. They've gotten paid too much, too fast, too soon, and it's not adding up. Okay, or it's going over budget than what they wanted to pay. So, they're downsizing. What happens? They get rid of folks. And they may get rid of, get rid of our favorite people that we like to watch and cut up because they don't made too much. Now, if they sat back at the uh, board table and said, okay, I'll take a, a pay cut in salary. Well, what about the money that they already done spent out there on their livelihood? That can't take a pay cut. Okay. So it is always the old adage as live above your means. I mean, live under your means instead of above your means. And you'll always stay correct or you'll always be in the black. But you know, and I can, you know, put myself in there sometimes. Sometimes, damn, show sure did go over my budget. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, how I had, uh, have a, you know, very soft butt. You know, well, I don't know how that adage go because that didn't quite make any sense, did it? <laughs> But what I'm saying, when you fall flat on your face, when you knew it was that possibility uh, was going to happen to you if you continue down that path that you knew was on shaky ground from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And then you just have to deal with it and straighten yourself up, learn from that experience. Don't repeat that same mistake. And then it's all for the good. You know what I'm saying? Some things we got to learn just from experiencing it. Nobody can tell us. Nobody can walk it through us or walk us through it. We just have to experience it and we will take that experience and never make that same mistake again those who are truly wanting to succeed and prosper in their lives <coughs> excuse me but going back to the article it says now 
that seems closer to reality as she just hired a high profile lawyer to stand up for her rights. She made the cryptic announcement on Instagram sharing a picture of Lisa Bloom. And as you have seen, I have definitely showed you a picture of her in my um, visuals or my video that I'm um, narrating from. And it goes back and says she captioned it. Happy. I now have Lisa Bloom. Uh, lawyer on my team I've stayed I, I've stayed quiet a long time and gathered information along the way now I'm gonna make some noise wait for it hashtag unfair hashtag in confidence go here uh, and then she's talking about book nini at gmail.com and I'm like you know as me being a consumer of services why would I book you nini you know unless I wanted to just have people look at you like you were an animal in the zoo uh type of motif because you don't even treat your people right here in Atlanta they want to come up to you and say nini you are the one of my favorite housewives or want to come up to you and get an autograph and you know it's just crazy you know it's almost like biblical if your child came to, to you and asked for, um, you know, something, you gave them a snake or you gave something to them back that was going to be detrimental, but they only came to you in a loving way, paying homage or respect to you and what you do. Uh, and, and you give something negative back to them. I mean, that's just horrible, Nene. Maybe it is your karma. I don't know if you are going to prevail from this situation. But I do know when you do take litigation against somebody, they're not going to look at you the same way. And they're not going to want to make you uh, any offers to come to work for them in the area of the entertainment business. Okay? And those same people are going to know people out there that are going to try to give you an opportunity. But nine times out of ten, they're going to say don't do it. Because this is how she acts when it comes to... Uh, doing this that and the third when you put her on one of your projects or when you put her in one of your films or when you when you put her on one of your productions this is all the things you're going to get back is negativity now you know if that's a main player out there they're good for what they do and people respect them don't you think no folks are going to listen to them instead of what nini may say what happened with her uh job at bravo entertainment child please Mm -mm, nene, I don't know if you're ready to risk and lose everything possibly you know what about Greg you know what what about everything that you have to do and continue to do for him for his upkeep what about your children you know hell what about you and your mentality because you've been going through some issues which you had to hire a spiritual advisor so I mean I know you feel hurt I know you feel like you know, people are trying to, you know, blow you out the water. But sometimes you have to uh, really think about a situation, concede, and move on, you know. Uh, even if you have to downsize from your real big mansion here in Georgia uh, or whatnot. I don't know. I, I, You know, I'm not walking in your shoes. I never have. Uh, but that's something you're going to have to think about. And then, like I said, it could be a great PR stunt. Uh, to get us talking because we're still really talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta so that don't really make sense and then we're talking about putting litigation against uh, you know our organization because somebody have felt you have done them wrong you have hired an attorney and you're seeking retribution and damages and all that kind of stuff against your company child please Mm -mm, people gonna run from the hills from you nene okay but going back to the article that was on my sidebar it says what she did reveal to a radar online was i'm so pleased she reached out to me meaning the lawyer lisa bloom was saying that of nene calling her or uh, having conversations with her uh, she goes in to say, while our conversation is confidential, I encourage everyone to stand up for their rights. But we know for sure we're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about in the future. So, you know, maybe Nene is playing hardball, like I said. But then they can buy her out of her contract, put her in a place where she can't get any work from anybody for a extended amount of time. Usually it's a year or two before you can uh, go seek employment from other entertainment industries. So I'm like, you know, do you got your decades in a row? Because Lisa Bloom going to have a big price tag herself for you sitting there um, putting her on retainer to uh, resolve certain issues that you're going through. Hell, that shit ain't free. 
and she definitely don't need no more publicity because we already know who she is all right and i'm like damn you got somebody like her i don't think she win any cases really nene <laughs> you should have to age pop but that is just my plight that is just what i'm talking about y'all so now it is time to end this video yes time to end this video y'all know what i felt about subject matter so i want to know what my family feel about that situation will y'all miss greg and nene being showcased on the real housewives of atlanta or will she be just an afterthought you know like okay well it was nice knowing you nene but now you need to be replaced we might be looking at kenya Moore. hell we might bring kim fields back who knows there's so many options you know what i'm saying but you know like i said staff uh of the real housewives of atlanta uh nini's uh co-workers y'all better think if they can do it to her they can do it to all of y'all too so i don't know if it's a unified thing y'all need to get together and represent nini and tell what true entertainment really be doing and then maybe all y'all can have a good uh <laughs> a good settlement if it comes that way but y'all definitely won't be on any more platforms i can tell you that all right uh, and then y'all could truly go into what y'all say y'all have and all of these um followers y'all have uh such as just to use kenya more as an example or cynthia bailey they both have uh consumer where they have goods that consumers can partake of one of them have eyewear luggage wear the other one has a hair care line so y'all feel so strong in y'all um businesses apart from the real housewives of atlanta maybe this would be a good time for you all to really focus on your businesses that's not attached to the real housewives of atlanta because like i say every good thing comes to an end one day and you know you won't be featured on a show because i said damn 12 years for nene on this show that's damn good okay it's time for her to retire when you look at it in a good way but like i said i don't think nene has financially her financial portfolio may not be what it needs to be and to keep her in the lifestyle that she definitely likes to live okay so a little bit more grinding has to come uh play a part nene you're gonna have to do what you gotta do and like i said this uh situation if it is uh true had any truth to it child you better have some revenue to pack back honey because they ain't gonna want you back if you sue an organization do you think they're going to keep you child please mm -mm, not necessarily they might like i said buy you out your contract even though you had a from what i hear a three-year contract where you make two point something million uh for three years or whatnot they may buy you out or <laughs> they may settle that debt and don't want to show you no more. Then what you going to do then, Nene? What you going to do? What you going to do, girl? But anyway, y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter. And I want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sharing and liking my videos. And I will see you next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.